The new Team Origin was unlike anything the fans had anticipated the organization to become. Team Origin came into the 2017 EULCS season completely changed from years prior. Gone were the legends that had made a name for themselves within the European scene, and incoming was this roster. In the top lane was Satorius, who in the past have jumped between numerous challenger teams in Europe but have never reached the EULCS until being signed on Origin. In the jungle was Wisdom, a Korean player who was unbelievably a part of the Koot Tigers as they made their 2015 Worlds run into the finals against SKT. However, despite him sharing the starting jungler position with Hojin, Wisdom didn't play in the playoffs in Korea, nor played in the World Championships whatsoever. Starting in the mid lane was Nehun. His acquisition came with criticism because of his previous record. He played on LSPL's Team Kung Fu, a team that went 0-17. and He has never competed in a major tournament and at the time he was only known for his losing record. At 80 carry was the most experienced out of the entire roster, Tabs, formerly of Lemon Dogs and Alliance. He was the most recognizable name due to his tenure in the 2014 Alliance squad that competed in the World Championship. With five years of professional experience, the team would look at him to carry games. On support was Hiva. He's similar to Satorius in that he competed in multiple EU challenger teams like Denial Esports and SK Gaming Prime and would be making his EU LCS debut on this roster. At the coaching position would be the return of Leduc. With a brand new roster, expectations were incredibly low for Team Origin. This is what analyst Crepo had to say about the team. Is it better or is it worse? <laughs> it's nice that you asked the question. Uh, it is worse. It is much, much worse. Uh, Origin did not retain a single player. They lost the likes of Amazing and Soas. Honestly, they've gathered maybe B-tier players, C-tier players, players that were formerly in Challenger, players that have tried and failed already. Just. It doesn't look good for them. I would almost go as far to say that they're almost guaranteed to be in the relegation tournament, and I would not be surprised if they're replaced by either Schalke or PSG in summer. Unsurprisingly, the team did not get off to a hot start and went on to lose for six straight weeks. The team hideously underperformed both individually and as a unit. As a brand new roster, they didn't have enough time to train together and develop cohesion. Usually, the mistakes they exhibited in the season were individual and reminiscent of solo queue. Origins games consisted of either being brutally massacred. Who stopped up for just a second and they blow a lot as Mithy was trying to get their Nehun around the backside. Instant exhaust, Foss bomb around the back is going to be perched though. They're going to pay for this one. Origin, they decided to go all in under tower and they might be regretting it. Mithy's chunked down. It's a double kill for Nehun and they're all taking the journey. But Trick is right behind them, hot on their heels, and Sven opens up the curtains. It's not even going to be needed as it's only Satorius there. A double kill for Trick. Once again, the anchor, but he stuns him under tower, locked by the cocoon, but he's taking oh! tower, and Satorius no! gets the kill, no! and he dies! Keep he stops on it! No! Or being a part of a clown fiesta against lower tier teams. Take for example their matchup against Vitality in week 2. In the early game, Wisdom kept getting caught out of position and ended up having 3 deaths 10 minutes in. Now Joko's gonna run into Wisdom, no wait for him to come to him. Oh boy, there goes the axe, Wisdom's gonna get the smite down on the crab. Joko ends up finishing it off, here we go, he's gonna be able to throw the axe for first blood. Now Joko's gonna run straight into Wisdom. He's going to ghost on, they and they each up Satorius, they just passing ships to the knife, but the axe is gonna tag onto Satorius. He's gonna have to flash away, the shock blast is there. Wisdom, he's a little bit low, but Joko and Cabo are right on his tail, the axe is gonna finish it! Joko with another! Now Joko's gonna get some help from Machani to try and stop. Still no the flash! Damage. He's got nothing left available to him, and they walk right into him! Joko with a third kill! He's bullying Wisdom this game. Joko is he's not just bullying, he is literally stealing everything away. Wisdom can't even get a blue, and now he's gonna go down the red carpets there! But Cabo goes to the skies! Despite that, OG were able to claw their way back into the game with Vitality's support Hichani being caught out and a couple of one skirmishes. But then, Origin threw Baron. Here we go, here we go! Oh, they got it down, but they got the Baron! It's secure, they give one life, but they're trapped in the pit! In comes Kabo! Down goes Dayhun! Vitality looking for the punish, and Wisdom! No! He threads it! Satorius doesn't take! And now he's going down! Four members for the Baron! I hope it was worth it, boys! Vitality proceeded to win the series 2-0. After week 5, Xpeki returned to the roster, but this time replacing Hiva on support. But in his support debut, Origin lost against Misfits 2-0 and Xpeki's record was 1 kill and 10 deaths. By this point, the team suffered 14 straight losses, the longest losing streak in EU LCS history. Nehun is also at his 31st straight loss since debuting in the League of Legends professional scene. Later in the season, Wisdom was replaced by Syncroft, a European jungler who came from the challenger scene. Despite this lineup change, Origin did not win any more games.
they ended the season in last place with no series victories and 13 losses. Origin faced off against Giants Gaming in the summer promotion tournament. In the first game, Origin was ahead at the 30 minute mark with a Baron to their name, but then Giants superior engage composition shined. Giants, they want to initiate. Point and click, there's the dredge line, where's the depth shot? It's gonna be bouncing forward. Only Memento and Flaxish caught out by the shockwave. It's simply not enough. Hiku sidesteps the mystic shot as Knight is pinned against the wall. Sartorius's GA gets popped. He'll spawn in the middle of five Giants members. Body slams over the wall into the waiting hands of Knight and the dredge line curved around the corner. Flaxish pulls off his best Angelina Jolie. With constant engages, Giants obtained the lead and took Game 1. In Game 2, Origin kept getting caught out either through Ash Era or horrible mispositioning. However, keep in mind Satorius is picking it all up. Right, Xpac goes down, Ash Era goes wide, doesn't matter. Syncroft is going to get dropped as well. Now Satorius is the target. Flaxish and Memento looking for more. True Shot Barrage gets sidestepped. Flaxish has used his flash already, so he's looking for that flash taunt. Not needed. Three members of Origin simply caught out. In game three, it was an insult to injury to the owner of Origin as Xpeke was significantly targeted. Thrill of the Hunt is available, is used, and Tabs is the target. Hell, nothing more is even needed. Piercing Light comes out, first blood picked up by Memento, and the culling plus some damage secures a double for Memento. On the hunt for Peke, he does have his flash. Oh, this is thrilling. Oh. The jump, the leap. The culling! PQ gets a kill onto Xpeke. Now he's still really valued amongst AD carries, and because of his short range, it's difficult to see. Oh, great death sentence. Hustling is down. That's the first kill of the game for Origin before Peke just gets blown up where he's standing. Synchro eats a full channel from the culling. Xpeke had four deaths 17 minutes in, but Origin was able to make up for that bad early game through jungle skirmishes. There was no support as well, and now they might be looking for a funnel oh, to Memento. Oh, we were signing Origin. Uh, their death warrant, but they're finding some life. The chrono shift comes out. That will bring Hustlin back to life, but Memento goes down. That's a double kill for Syncrop. They're not done. Death sentence goes wide. Knight is the target. Body slam connects. Sartorius is on the board, and Origin are closing the lead. However, Giants were able to come back through a fight engaged by Origin. Once again, the target Synchro gets a lot of damage down. He flashes away, but Synchro leaps and sinks the fangs in. He tastes Giants fear. The death sentence connects onto Memento, so does the shockwave. Expecca is not dead yet. The barrel sends Knight away. He cues not here. The double kill, double bomb, double boom. Knight fighting back. Tabs and Nahian are running for their life. Even without he cue, Giants win the fight. It was the swing fight of the game and the Giants were able to maintain control to the end. The last ditch team fight for Origin occurred 35 minutes in. Shockwave holds him in place, but look at the culling, the strangle thorns. Origin can't get over the bushes. It's a kill onto Nathan. Sartorius loses his GA. Memento keeps jumping forward with savagery over and over. Peck and Sartorius are left standing. And Tabs is running for his life. Team Origin was officially eliminated from the European LCS. They were once one of the best in the world, but in a matter of two years, the organization was gone from the competitive scene. This also marks Xpeke's exit from professional play. None of the Origin players remained after relegation. In 2018, Team Origin had no developments towards obtaining a team in the EU LCS. However, in April of that year, there was a surprising announcement. When the franchising of the EU LCS was announced, rumors speculated that Xpeke would revive Origin. In the beginning of April, Origin announced the signing of Froggen to be their mid laner. The week afterwards, a full roster was announced. Team Origin revealed that they acquired a starting lineup full of legends and career professionals to compete in the EU Masters. The roster consisted of Expect in the top lane, Insect in the jungle, Froggen at mid, Forgiven on AD Carry, and Jezz's on support. Team Origin dominated and won the European Masters. It wasn't surprising considering the tournament was full of amateur level players except for Origin's lineup. While this was a successful attempt to re-establish the brand in League of Legends, the team was only a short-term venture. In late 2018, a major announcement dropped. Origin was acquired by Refresh Entertainment, a parent company to CSGO Team Astralis. This acquisition would give Origin acceptance into the newly formed League of Legends European Championship. Refresh Entertainment has brought back the Origin brand to League of Legends with a new company structure, Deficio as general manager, and Xpeke still the founder. This long and comprehensive series on Team Origin will end here. 
Team Origin as a brand has secured longevity in esports through the acceptance in the LEC. Its structure and presence will remain in the League of Legends professional scene for the foreseeable future. From a hype train to a train wreck, Team Origin's EU LCS run is a story on the importance of organization structure and its effect on performance. In its inception in 2015, Origin debuted with a superstar roster that dominated Europe and left its mark in the World Championship, finishing 4th place overall. The immediate synergy displayed and the overall star power propelled them to such greatness in a short time. However, that was the peak for the organization. With a lack of emphasis on structure, coaching, and other behind the scenes, the team's performance deteriorated over time. It created a stressful work environment that took a significant toll on the player's mental health. The process of change within the organization was extremely disruptive and far from a smooth transition as you saw players come and go in the same split. Not only did the state of internal structure affect the players and the image of the organization, but also its staff who began a mass exodus all uniting under the reasons of payment problems and general mistreatment from the management. All of these problems culminated into an embarrassing 2017 performance and left a stain on the record and image of one of League of Legends' greatest professional players. We can wish good luck on the endeavors of Origin and Xpeki within the LEC today. Let's hope the lessons from the past can propel them to much greater success in the future. My name is Kudo, and thank you for watching. Origin! They're on to the Nexus Turrets! Baron and Pardon me! They're finally gonna win! Win! Origin! They're taking down Nexus Turret number two! Peeling away! It's not over yet, Deficio! Flashing and dashing! Tabs is in trouble! It's still 4v5, Trevor! They're gonna go to Whoa! Someone died! They are indeed! Origin! They managed to get themselves a few kills! They're just gonna win! The Nexus Turret! In it! In it! Number one is down! Turning away! Nahun's dead! They got Nahun's it! Nahun's dead! They got it's it! It's still gonna be a grey screen! And Origin! Look to the Nexus! Nexus Origin win their first game of the 2017 season. And Nayun won his first game, Trevor. It actually happened.